Hey, this thing of bugger. I want to take just a second and, and thank everybody who subscribed to me. YouTube just sent me that plaque over there on the wall, congratulating me for reaching 100,000 subscribers. And I, I just wanted you all to know how much that means to me. And, and that I keep that plaque right there in a prominent spot so that I see it every single day. And, and it, it, I, I just am surged with pride every time I see it. And, and it, it reminds me to just keep going no matter what. So, so special thanks to all my subscribers. Thank you very much. I appreciate it. Hey, this thing of bugger. This is a weird one. It's called strange sound spark search for Sasquatch in BC community, British Columbia. Uh, it's posted by CTV News. Come give them a like and a subscribe. Have a listen. A community off northern Vancouver Island is at the center of an eerie mystery. People in Alert Bay say they've been hearing strange screams and howls from the forest at night. And the legend of the Sasquatch runs deep in their First Nations culture. As CTV's Gord Kerbis reports, some are now wondering if those legends are real. Okay, I'm going to skip ahead and let you hear the howl. Making the noise is heard primarily at night. That howl right there. I'm going to show you two things. I'm going to prove to you that that howl couldn't possibly be made by any known species, not, not even just in North America, but not any known species in the world. And then I have found something new and bizarre about that howl that is beyond belief and you will not be able to explain it let's check it out okay let's do a usual lineup of of all the vocalizations from, from the largest animals loudest animals you might hear in north america and first we'll start off with our our british columbia howl our bc howl and by the way this is a spectral analysis screen it shows us what a sound looks like it's like a sonogram the orange part, the yellow and orange part, that's the most intense part of the call. All the rest of this stuff is like background noise. So have a listen again. Now, what is freakishly bizarre about this vocalization is that it never, it never varies in frequency up or down from start to finish. It's just this one long sustained and I can tell you, there's not another creature I've looked, there, there's not another known species in North America or any world, any place in the world that I've found that matches this. Now, here are some of the other usual suspects. Look at them all. Use your eyes. Do you see anything that looks like our, our BC Howl down on the left side? Nothing. Uh, first, we've got a... Coyote howl, nothing like it. Way up higher in pitch. Foxes geckling. Uh, that's a that's a deer. Bobcat. Mountain lion. Wolves. And again, you're looking at how everything, all the vocalizations modulate up and down. Couple of lynx cats kind of squaring off and look look at this way up high up around 6000 hertz <laughs> screech owl uh next is a pretty pretty bizarre sound <laughs> pretty scary that is a moose grunt but doesn't look a thing in the world like our bc howl and next <laughs> bear growl not a thing like it let me do that one again. Elk bugle. Now, something interesting about the elk bugle, it does have this flattened out, just just solid, straight part. That that last whistle, but that happens way up, like one point five kilohertz. That is way up there. Whereas again, our 
our BC Hal is way, way, way down below at around 300 hertz. And last, <coughs> a human screaming. Even, even humans, our, our, our voice modulates up and down. And at, at the very, at the beginning, it goes up, up, up. And on the end, down, down, down. Nothing on the planet looks or sounds like the BC howl. And, and that should be enough for you. When, when there's no known animal that has vocal vocalization like that, that means we found a, another very large unknown species out there in North America. But just because our BC howl here doesn't match any known species, that doesn't mean I haven't found any matches for it. Have a listen. out of a horror movie and look at every one of them from left to right all bored straight these six different vocalizations were all recorded here in north america all thousands of miles apart years and years apart and yet look at them these six that i've collected they don't match another living known species on the planet but now i've found something even more bizarre about these howls. Let's check that out. Okay, this the second thing I have to show you is uh, is something new. It's it to me. It's worthy of a book, I, and I want to show it to you. But it's going to make this video like run way long. So I'm going to just show you this one little part. This is a dog howl. And what I want you to see is that this, the yellow part is the actual howl itself, how, how it's relatively smooth, you know, just apart from a few bumps, it's just kind of a tube of sound apart from this kind of little yodel here at the end. Now, what's interesting about that is when you see a wave file like this one here, where you see all of these peaks and valleys, it, it lets you know that there's a lot more going on there than just say a, oh, than just a howl. And to prove that, I'm gonna chop this thing up on each of these peaks, which is called the transient. And you'll see that each one of these little slices has its own sound. So just out of sheer curiosity, I took the British Columbia howl, I slowed it way, way down, and I chopped it up because I wanted to see if each one of these slices truly would have its own unique sound. And guess what? They do. You know what else behaves that way? Where it's comprised of unique sounds? The human language. All right. So we're going to leave it right there. I'm going to cover this in an entire part two of this series dedicated just to this find here, which, which I believe is pretty amazing and, and pretty inexplicable. I mean, there's no reason for a howl to be made up of all of these completely unique sounds. I mean, that should kind of be blowing your mind that there is a, a large species out there making these bizarre board straight howls that when they're slowed way, way, way down, turns out they're comprised of, of what could be vowels and consonants and words. But the most amazing part is they're all said or spoken or howled or sung so fast that our human ear can't pick them out, can't pick out the individual pieces. All right, everybody, that's it for now. Special thanks as always to my patrons and my YouTube members. Without your monthly support, I simply could not afford the luxury of spending all this time researching all of this and making these videos. So thank you so very much. I, I believe, 
I believe this is important. And also, special thanks again to my 100,000 plus subscribers. That, that just means the world to me, all of you. Thank you so much. All right, everybody. Take care.